Hi, my name is Garrett, and I'm working on a martial arts combat game called Strong by 3. This week, I worked on the combat specifically with the enemy targeting and selecting. After fiddling around with some of the colliders interfering with the mouse clicks, I got it so you can now better select each enemy and the technique that you want to use against them. And now instead of initiating combat through the menu, I have it so if you're close enough, you can go up and click and that will just simulate for now using your technique. I haven't fully finished the outline stuff, so it's not, it's not perfect, but we're getting close. And in terms of the environment, I'm pretty set on having nine different islands outside of the main one, and I was trying to experiment with some different layouts. I tried this kind of galaxy band design where the islands sort of wrap around the center, and I modeled a new nebula model for that as well. I'm really actually liking this look, although my scale is completely off, uh, so I need to fix that up a bit. What I learned this week is about the ignore raycast layer. When I was dealing with the enemy selection, I had some trouble with the colliders, how each enemy has a collider radius for detecting the player, and that was interfering with the selection through the combat planning menu. It turns out there's something exactly for it in Unity. It's called the ignore raycast layer. So for each of the colliders I have for detecting the player, I assign them to the ignore raycast layer, and that fixed my problem with the on mouse down function. And I'm also learning about game performance. Earlier this week, I was experimenting a little bit with grass and it was really lagging my game. I, one, I don't know about the terrain much, but it's also making me much more aware about testing performance early. If you can see on the bottom of the islands, there's kind of this like pulsating wireframe string looking thing. And if I can have nine different islands, I want to make sure that it doesn't lag the game already, considering I really haven't added anything else besides the islands and a few rocks and the nebulas themselves. So optimization isn't really my focus right now, since it's pretty early in development, but I'm, I feel like I need to be a little bit more aware of it just to make sure everything's at least running sort of smoothly now, because eventually it will get worse. <laughs> and in my martial arts training, after about a month, I finally landed a B twist. I was super hyped when I did it, as you can tell by the clip, and although I need to practice it more to get more consistent, I am really happy. And so one thing I've been thinking about is sort of this idea of getting things built out instead of just keeping the ideas in my head. So I'm someone who likes to come up with a lot of different ideas and I come up with different ideas in my head and they don't always translate the same whenever I go to make them. So for example, uh, with the sort of galaxy layout that I have that you saw in the intro, I didn't really come up with that beforehand. I wanted a different layout and I knew I wanted nine islands, but I kind of started placing islands around and that sort of shape just kind of came about. So I think it's a, a weird thing for me where there's that there's sort of different stages where I have the idea stage where it's in my head, but whenever I actually go to try it, maybe new ideas come out and sometimes they're better, sometimes they're worse. Sort of the same idea with the islands, how I experimented with them. It's kind of just a thing, I don't know if it's just me who does it, um, but I think it's just a good strategy for me to not just keep my ideas in my head and perfect them and just do what was in my head exactly as I imagined it. It's good to, at least for me, to try to do it myself, or rather build it out, rather than just keep it in my head and then see where it takes me. Thank you all for watching. I love every single one of you guys. I really appreciate all your support. And if you guys need anything at all from me, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to talk with anyone at all. I love talking with you guys. Um, also, speaking of talking to you guys, I gotta give a big shout out to Matt for having me on the Indie Dev Chat. Um, and also, I'm gonna shout out Bargy because he made this really cool video about an AR Pokemon Go, and I was one of the featured dev loggers or game devs. Um, so, I'll probably link both, I, I will link both of those guys um, in the description so you can check out those videos. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next devlog for some more fun.